Let's raise the first set of constitutional questions that have arisen today. Is the governor of Maharashtra simply doing the BJP's bidding? Has the Maharashtra governor Koshiari exceeded his brief? Is the face of hurting Maharashtra's COVID fight? These are just some of the questions I'm going to raise tonight. Sambit Patra is the BJP's evergreen spokesperson. Avinash Adik is the NCP spokesperson. Appreciate both joining us. Sambit Patra, want to come straight to you. Is the Maharashtra governor acting as an independent uh, constitutional authority or is he simply acting as an agent of the BJP in Maharashtra? What's your view? Well, let me in fact travel back in time and let me tell you as far as exchanges of letters and barbs between constitutional authorities is concerned it is not new and one of the finest examples of it would be exchange of letters between Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru the then Prime Minister and the then President Rajendra Babu on the issue of Somnath Temple's inauguration first they had a difference whether Somnath Temple should be constructed or should not be uh, constructed back and then they had a difference when Rajendra Babu wanted to go for the inauguration of Somnath Temple while the Prime Minister uh, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru was opposed to it. They had a serious barb in letters and all those letters are archived today. We can visit and see as to what kind of language was used when Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru say that I no, barred the going, President I have India asked you about Bhagat Singh Koshyari in 2020. Sambit Patra, you rediscovered yeah, yeah. Jawaharlal Nehru versus Rajendra Prasad in the 1950s? Yes, yes, yes. I'll tell you because, because uh, democracy functions on the same line. To say that federal structure has fallen down, crumbled, collapsed, and democracy, neither did democracy and the federal structure collapse when there was a letter exchange between uh, uh, Jawaharlal Nehru and Rajendra Prasad, nor is it collapsing today. Now, let me tell you what the governor's role is. There were a constellation of people who met the chief minister. Mm -hmm. We had political netas, we had uh, dharmic institutions, the religious institutions and their gurus. We had NGOs which met the chief minister, Mr. Uddhav Thakre, demanding that since rest all of the temples are opened across the country and it's a matter of faith, why don't you open according to the issued guidelines of the MHA which was issued uh, after 31st of May mm -hmm. and the temples were supposed to be open by June 8th and in fact, there is a Supreme Court ruling as well in which Supreme Court categorically mentions that the government should come up with a solution and they should open the places of religious worship. Mm -hmm. So if at all, I mean, he's a public representative, the chief minister, the chief minister could not solve this problem. So all these people went and met the governor. Now the governor wrote a letter to the chief minister. This is a constitutional process. No, Where no, has democracy minute. been hurt? You are, you are absolutely right. There is a constitutional process. But I just want to read out one line or two lines from the letter. And then you tell me, is this a letter written by a constitutional functionary? Or is it written by a politician? This is what the governor says. I wonder if you are receiving any divine premonition to keep postponing the reopening of the places of worship time and again. Or have you suddenly turned secular yourself? the term you hated. I just want to understand, is this a letter that a governor writes or is this a letter of a political party agent? That's all I'm asking. Rajdeep, as far as the wordings of the letter is concerned, you have to understand that sarcasm and in fact showing a mirror to your own ideology is no unconstitutional work. And let me, in fact, today I have been drawn to some of the uh, events which have happened in the past in the history. Let me, in fact, bring about some amount of humor in debate. Generally, I don't bring about a lot of humor in your debate, but some amount of tadka of humor is essential in today's debate. One of the most famous debates in Indian history, Indian hi parliamentary in history, is between Firoz Gandhi and uh, Krishnamachari, the then finance minister. And you remember what Krishnamachari, both belonging to Congress, Krishnamachari says to Mr. Sanjay Gandhi when he gets up to speak, Firoz that, Gandhi. look, you are a lab dog. What does the lab dog of Nehru has to say to me? Then, Sanjay, uh, then in fact, Piroz Gandhi gets up and says, well, well, Mr. Krishnamachari, now that you have called me a lap dog, and since you are a very important and prominent pole of Nehru's cabinet, now a lap dog should do to the pole what a dog does to a pole. That was one of the most hilarious and most quoted events of Indian parliament. Humor, sarcasm, this is humor? are part of exchanges of this letters is humor? and bombs. This is Koshiari's sense sarcasm. of humor? Sarcasm. I told sarcasm. The, okay, so this, is sarcasm. Is this is no, sarcasm. This is sarcasm. Okay. This is sarcasm. Yes. This is what uh, he also went on to say. You have been a strong votary of Hindutva. You have publicly expressed your devotion for Lord Ram. Have you suddenly turned secular? The term you hated. 
Now, these are all, it would appear, statements being made by a governor who's also wearing a political hat. But, Mr. Adik, why don't you respond? Here is Sambit Patra, who's even taken us back to Jawaharlal Nehru versus uh, uh, Rajendra Prasad, Rajendra Babu, suggesting that this is part of the constitutional process. Why is Sharad Pawar suggesting that uh, the governor is acting as a politician? Why is the chief minister not responding, in a sense, to the demand that uh, various people are making to open up places of worship? First of all, a very good evening, Rajdeep. Good evening, Sambhiji. It's wonderful how Sambhiji always goes back uh, in history uh, and remembers anecdotes that happened uh, during Panditji's time. I mean, this has been the habit. This has been the calling of the BJP ever since uh, Modi ji has become the Prime Minister. Uh, coming to the issue today, Sharad Pawar Sahib is one of the tallest statesmen the country has. He has spoken on the subject. I think the debate today doesn't need any response from me. I think, Rajdeep, you are doing a wonderful job for me. Because whatever you are asking uh, Sambit ji today is actually what everybody should be asking the BJP. His no, no, but the, no, no, but the question also the will be asked to the Maharashtra government. No, 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 no. Uh, Mr. And Adik, the question to the Maharashtra government will be, should the, is, is the governor entitled to ask this question or not to the chief minister, that if other parts of the country are opening up places of worship, why is Maharashtra not doing so? He also says, if bars and restaurants can open, why not temples? Do you believe that a governor should be asking these questions or not? If the Honorable Governor thought it prudent to ask these questions, mm -hmm. I do not challenge his right to do so. He is a constitutional authority who has the responsibility and the role to play the role of a constitutional head. What matters here is the language he used, the way the statements were constructed, the use of the words Hindutva and secular to suggest a political meaning to it. It was not just a concern that the constitutional head had towards his state. The entire letter mm -hmm. speaks of uh, the BJP's agenda. And that is most uncalled for. As a constitutional head, be it the Honorable Governor, be it the Honorable President of India, they are not supposed to be paying sides. I'll, I'll ask my producer uh, to again party. play exactly what the I governor... The language to, there. I'll ask for our, for our viewers' uh, uh, interest to play out the exact tone of the letter of, uh, of the governor. But, you know, Dr. Patra, it appears that this is a concerted attempt. Governor puts out a letter. Next day, the BJP organizes protests across Maharashtra. It seems as if the governor is acting in tandem with the BJP. We saw it when Devendra Fadnavis was sworn in at 7.30 in the morning with nobody being informed about it. And now we are seeing it happening in the context of opening up our mandirs. The BJP hits the street within hours of the governor's letter reaching the chief minister. Are the governor and the BJP acting in tandem? No, we should all. In fact, you should also act in tandem when it is upholding the justice. When on matters of justice... No, what is the justice here? Justice, everyone should act in... Let, let, me, let me tell you what justice is. I mean, my principle is if you have to uphold justice, everyone, from the Chief Justice of India, the President of India, the Governor, and the political parties, which are votaries of justice, should work in tandem. In fact, the others who are who are for injustice, they will not act in tandem. What is justice here? Now, justice here is what the Supreme Court said in the month of June when Nishikan Dube, one of our member of parliaments, went on to Supreme Court for opening up of some temples in Jharkhand, which the Jharkhand government was not opening. This is what the Supreme Court had to say. I quote, E darshan is no darshan. Can't you permit darshan by adhering to social distancing? During a total lockdown, things are different. But during unlock period, when other things are functioning, why can states manage temples? Temples, churches, mosques should be opened, at least on special occasions. We request the state government to find out the possibility and work out a mechanism for allowing darshan of their temple deity to the public. This will apply to the churches and the mosques as well. Dr. Patra, Dr. Patra, the the Supreme, Dr. Patra neither is the Supreme Court elected nor is the governor. The chief minister is elected. He is responsible to ensure the public health. Maharashtra is the highest number of COVID cases at the moment in the country. It is Uddhav Thakre's responsibility. Okay. It is the BJP has every right to protest okay. on the street. But why is the governor intervening in this? Yes. The governor will give an audience to Kangana Ranaut. The governor will yes. not give audience to distressed farmers yes. in Maharashtra. But he has time to give an audience to Kangana Ranaut. The governor will intervene on reopening of temples. Why doesn't he uh, 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 look at the other real issues facing the state? 
a bigger issue is reopening of commuter trains in Mumbai. Not about whether a temple opens or not. Okay, let me. And what happens if, if, if they, these temples become yeah. super spreaders? Just a second, just Who will be responsible? I, I get the point. I get the point. I'll get the point. I'll get the point. First and foremost, well, have, you to to issue Rajiv, uh, have, you, have you gone through the guidelines the issued by the MHA? Have you have you gone through the guidelines issued by the MHA before Prime June 8? One minute, Mr. Adi. You, 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 just a second. You should have gone through the guidelines issued by the Mem uh, Ministry of Home Affairs for the June 8th. They have said that this is these are the, these are the standard operating procedures as far as opening of the temple is concerned. So everywhere in the country, be it Vaishnav Devi, be it Tirupati, be it other temples, in fact in Uttar Pradesh all the temples have opened now with the standard operating procedures. And no study suggests that the temples are acting as super spreaders, number one. Number two, you have accepted that in fact the situation in Maharashtra today is out of control. So either you have to accept that the Maharashtra government is unable to function as far as COVID is concerned, it is not able to contain COVID, or you have to say that well yes, they have contained COVID and they would be opening up the temples as well so you cannot have ladus in both your hands saying that it is doing best Sir, I, it is the all best i am CM saying is that, that these decisions Thakare. are to be taken thirdly, by thirdly, the elected authority not seconds. by an unelected governor ten seconds, but 10 seconds so, let, let mr adik respond 10 more seconds mr adik so, wanted to make a point 10, ten seconds only no, no, ten let seconds. him respond only, only 10 only ten seconds yes yeah yeah he responds not more than 10 seconds Dr. Patra, you said that the government that the governor Rajiv has given earlier. governor has given audience to kangna ranawa but governor does not give audience to the farmers who said he did not meet the farmers body he met the farmers body i can give you the date the time etc when he met the farmers body he met the religious bodies he met the religious netas also and i ask you a question you had an interview of Ria. Show me an interview of a farmer's body that you had recently. You also met Ria. He Dr. met Kamna now. I so have what is covered this? This the farmer's country. issue extensively in Maharashtra. There are a lot of attacks Rajiv you can make on me. This is not one of the attacks. You better the find farmers. a better way of attacking me. Similarly, the governor has also extensively met the farmers. Okay. Your camera only caught Kangna. That is not our fault. I see. Okay. But Mr. Adik, you want to respond to the central question. The central question Rajiv. that the BJP is raising yeah. through the governor now is if bars and restaurants can open in Maharashtra, why not temples and places of worship? If they can open in the rest of the country, if it's part of the guidelines, why not in Maharashtra? Why is the Uddhav Thakre being so cautious? If he is, then the BJP will attack him. Rajiv, what I'd like to add here is, uh, you know, you just said a few minutes ago that the chief minister is an elected head of government. The governor is an appointed constitutional head. The highest office is occupied by Prime Minister Modi ji. And when he addressed the group of chief ministers during this pandemic, during all the unlock phases, the one important aspect that he has addressed is every chief minister should decide what is good for their state. In accordance with that guideline, with that spirit, if the Maharashtra chief minister feels it is not yet right to open the temples, I don't know why Sambiji or anybody in the BGP is having a problem. If the Prime Minister respects that the Chief Minister is empowered to take a right decision, has been taking a right decision because he has supported the Maharashtra Chief Minister every time he has said we will open a few activities mm -hmm. while we will hold back onto a few. The Chief Minister is on record where he says yes, temples will be opened uh, for Darshan very soon. Mm -hmm. uh, we are getting the standard operating procedures in place for that to ensure that the well-being of the citizens is looked upon as the prime most aspect. Can I? I don't know why looking at the well-being of the citizens Can I? is not being looked upon with any sense of appreciation. If the Prime Minister appreciates it, but Dr. Sambiji doesn't, I fail to understand why. Okay, a final word therefore from you, Dr. Patra. What, of, what does any of this have to do with Hindutva? This is what I'm unable to understand. Isn't the public health far more important in COVID times than your definition of who is Hindutva and who is secular? Is opening up of a temple or a mosque or a church going to define uh, 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 secularism and Hindutva in COVID times? Surely even Lord Ram would first want all of us to be healthy. You are a doctor. Would you put health first or would you put opening of our temple first? I want a straight, direct answer from you, Dr. Patra. You can wear your doctor's hat also today for a change. The Lord Ram would have been very happy if some of your reporters also would have been more worn a mask and go on and interviewed all those uh, adhikaris and officers in Atras also. 
Some of your reporters were shouting on the uh, officers of Hathras without wearing a mask. So Lord Ram is angry now. I ask you a question, which direction do you always go in Patra? And answer my question, no, my uh, friend. You talked about Lord Ram. Lo no, I also have conversations with Lord Ram. It's not uh, I'm you asking you, is Hindutva now, more important at this moment? No, no, I'm, I'm answering. I'm, 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 I'm answering. I'm as answering, sir. I'm answering. See, Rajdeep, look at you. I mean, I was smiling within myself because I didn't want to interject. How beautifully you said that, uh, what is the fault of uh, Uddhav Thakre? He's a cautious, cautious chief minister. Not cautious, sir, callous. If he's not able to manage what other states are able to manage, if he's not able to follow in time the guidelines of MHA, if he's not able to follow the Supreme Court, then he's not cautious, he's callous, number one. And number two, you very smartly said, is Supreme Court an elected body to be followed always? It is not elected, sir, but Supreme Court upholds the constitution of the country. Similarly, if I turn back and say, is Supreme Court an elected body, that whatever the Supreme Court or High Court says about Hathras is to be followed, law and order situation is something to be Dr. judged Patra, on the ground. So leaving opening up the of temples minister, is not a constitutional issue. Opening up or closing of temples is not a constitutional issue. It's an administrative issue. I will ask Why you not, again. Sir? My faith and I will ask is you again. Issue. Is Hindutva you are wrong. or secularism you are wrong, to be Azdeep. defined in COVID you are time? You are absolutely wrong, Mr. Asdeep Sardesai. My belief and my faith, huh. once the law allows it, that is a constitutional issue because after the unlock, after unlock... Opening one, up of a temple is an administrative issue, that... not a constitutional issue, Dr. Patra. I am no, asking you a, a question. So administration also is a part of constitution, sir. To have my faith, to practice my faith, when in fact the administration allows it. Remember, the ad MHA's administrative body allows it with SOP. My friend from NCP it's says that It's a decision to be taken by state government, Dr. Some time Pantra. To put Do the not SOPs fool the place. audiences. When every other Decisions to open a temple or not is to be taken by a state government. MHA can only give guidelines. Do not mislead. Exactly. No, exactly. That's what I'm saying, that it's a callous government, which despite the guidelines by the central government, when all other states can follow the guidelines, can in fact move ahead opening the temples and normalizing life gradually and yet containing the COVID numbers. We have a failed CM whom you all project as one of the best CMs of the whole universe. I've not said India. that. He is unable to place the standard operating procedure. You in the sense, your Bollywood friends, they are regularly placing Uddhav Thakre as one of the best, best, yes. best, bestest CMs in the whole universe. Even Indra cannot be compared to him. But then look, he's not able to place a simple SOP, standard operating procedure, uh, even after the Supreme Court's judgment. One verdict. final time so I'm going to ask you. CM? I fail to understand One that. final time, is Hindutva about ensuring public health or is it Hindutva about allowing temples to open? One final straight answer. No either se na udar se. Hindutva is... Hindutva is about Sarve Bhavantu Shukhenaha, Sarve Santu Niramaya. It is always about ensuring everyone's spiritual and physical health. Okay. Remember, that is why we have SOPs. We never, we never cause harm to anyone. This time has proven this. Since time immemorial, we have followed rules and regulations. Okay. So Let's leave God's it sake, there. Let's leave it there, Dr. Patra. When Vaishnav Devi can follow it. Siddhi Vinayak Temple can also have an SOP and the Chief Minister can lead it. Okay. The question is whether the Governor is the one who should be providing also SOPs or whether that should be left to the State Government. Mr. Adik, Dr. Patra, thank you very much for joining me on my top talking point. The constitutional issue there, not for the first time, a Governor and a Chief Minister of a State tangling with each other. But now we are turning... Hello everyone, this is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.